Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, what are the different types of solid wastes? Because depending upon the type of solid wastes, we can find out ways by which we can dispose of the solid wastes in a proper way. Well, there are two types of solid wastes, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So, biodegradable, it means something which can be degraded by living organisms. Degraded means broken down. So, it can be broken down by living organisms, whereas non-biodegradable means it cannot be broken down. So, let us see which wastes fall under the category of biodegradable and which fall under the category of non-biodegradable. So let us first discuss biodegradable wastes. These wastes that these are the wastes that can be degraded into simpler and harmless forms. As you saw while we were discussing about the process of decomposition, what did we see? We saw that there are certain organisms which act as decomposers like bacteria and fungi. And what do they do? They degrade or they break down complex organic matter into simple inorganic form. So those inorganic molecules are no more harmful. Instead, they can be used to improve the fertility of the soil. So biodegradable wastes also can be broken down into simpler forms. The decomposition is done by microorganisms and those organisms are called decomposers. Examples are bacteria and fungi. So they act as decomposers. Now examples of biodegradable wastes are paper wastes, cow dung, excreta, agricultural wastes, wood, etc. So they are all biodegradable wastes. So all these things, even if it has been put in, in under the land or it has been kept somewhere for years together, they will get biodegraded by the action of microorganisms. However, that will give out full smell due to the action of microorganisms, but at least they will get converted into harmless forms. But it takes time. It, it is not going to happen overnight. So it, it will take its own sweet time. The quicker the decomposition happens, the better it is. Now, because we do not want unnecessary material to be dumped on the earth. So quicker it happens, the better it is. But if the amount of waste is really too much, then the time required will also be more because it, it is directly proportional to the amount of waste we have. So if more wastes are there, then the time taken to degrade it will also be more. If lesser wastes are present, then the time taken to degrade it will also be less. Now the next type of wastes are non-biodegradable wastes. So it is just the opposite of biodegradable wastes. They cannot be degraded to simpler and harmless forms. So they cannot be broken down at all. No matter whether it is bacteria, fungi or any other organism, nobody can break them down into harmless forms. They will always remain as it is. And that is why it is better not to use these kind of materials. So that because these materials will not go anywhere. They will just keep on dumping on earth. So here extremely slow or no decomposition is possible. So if we can say the decomposition process is so slow that we can say that there is no decomposition that can actually happen. So it cannot be degraded. So examples are plastics, pesticides, DDT, industrial wastes, metallic wastes. So these are all examples of non-biodegradable wastes. That is why you would have heard that these days yeah, often we get a news that stop using plastics. So even in case of uh, the shops and malls, they prefer to give paper bags rather than plastic bags. That's because paper is biodegradable. So it can be broken down into simple harmless form. Whereas plastics are non-biodegradable. So it cannot be broken down. And the more you use plastics, the more it keeps on accumulating on earth causing pollution because it goes nowhere. So and it can become extremely harmful also because it, it is something which is extremely poisonous and not at all edible. So if by mistake any organism, whether it is human being or birds or fishes, if they consume it by any chance, even a small piece of plastic, it can choke them and it can even kill them. So that means they are extremely harmful and that is why it is always advisable not to use non-biodegradable substances because it becomes extremely difficult to get rid of them from the environment. 
Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.